Can you believe it's already time to do a January 2023 bullet journal setup? I know, it's absolutely crazy. My mind still thinks like we're in 2018. But anyways, we have something really exciting. I asked you guys what theme you wanted to see and you guys voted for a winter icy mountain theme. So that's what we're gonna go for this month and we have a super unique design with the cutout for the cover page and these dust drawer tabs that are in the shapes of mountains. So make sure to watch until the end so you can get some ideas for your own bullet journal as well. So to start of this January 2023 bullet journal setup, we're actually going to start by preparing the quote page. And usually I start my monthly bullet journal setups with the cover page, but because of the unique design that we're doing with the cutouts, we're not going to be able to fully finish it until we create a couple of other pages first. And for the quote page setup itself, I'm going to keep it relatively simple. I'm just going to have the quote in the middle of the page and decorate the bottom with some mountain doodles. And I was so happy that you guys recommended this theme because I had so much fun creating these mountain doodles. What I really like about them is that you don't have to be perfect or great at art to be able to create these beautiful looking mountains. How I went about drawing these mountains is I just tried to think about a triangle and then kind of adding some jagged edges to create some textures on the mountain. And then to add a little bit of shading into the mountain, I would create a little split down the middle and color the left side of the mountain with this dark blue color. For this bullet journal setup, I decided to go with my blue Crayola super tip pen because I really wanted to get that very even uniform color throughout my bullet journal. So in comparison to something like the Tombow dual brush pens, those pens can really give more of a darker shaded look if you go over the same spots multiple times. However, when you're using something like the Crayola super tips, you can kind of have these overlaps in sections and still give a really nice uniform even color. So this is one of the reasons why I really wanted to choose this color for this theme. I really wanted that even uniform look and really bold color throughout my bullet journal. So that's one of the things that you can think about whenever you're choosing the pens that you want to use for your bullet journal setups. Do you want a color that can really be able to give you some depth and allow you to do more shading? Or do you want a pen that can really give you a uniform, even color throughout? And for the actual quote itself, I decided to choose a quote that is from the book The Mountain Is You that is written by Brianna Wiest. And I actually really love reading a lot of Brianna Wiest's book because she really talks about how you can understand your negative emotions better and understanding what these negative emotions are trying to tell you. And I really love her books because she really talks about how it's quite unrealistic for us to be happy all of the time. So in Instead of just trying to run away from those negative emotions every time you feel them, she really talks about how you can lean into those negative emotions and really try to learn what they're trying to tell you. So the quote that I decided to choose from that book says, One day, the mountain that is in front of you will be so far behind you, it will be barely visible in the distance. But the person you become in learning to get over it, that will stay with you forever. And that is the point of the mountain. So I really love this quote and I feel like it's just so fitting with the mountain theme in general. So it really goes to show that, you know, everything that's happened for a reason, even if you go through challenging times, you're really going to go over that mountain and those obstacles but everything that you learn to get over those challenges is always going to stay with you and really be able to help you become the person that you are today. Now because I felt like the top part of the quote page felt a little bit empty, I decided to take my gold paint and add a little bit of some moon and star designs into the page as well to really finish off the quote page and add a little bit of details to the top part. Now for the paint, I'm using a gold paint from the brand Colero, but you can also use something similar like a gold gel pen that is a more affordable option as well. So I'll link all of those options in the description down below. So if you want to recreate this theme, you can also choose whatever materials you feel like is best for your own bullet journal. Also, the paintbrush that I'm using here is super old, so it's really hard for me to get a sharp line for the stars. And so a lot of the stars just look like big blob circles, and I kind of feel like I added a little bit too much stars and I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think like I added too much or do you think that is just enough? Now the next page that I'm going to prepare for my January bullet journal setup is going to be a really simple January events log. So it's super simple. All I want to do is prepare a little box for where I can track down all of my events. This spread has to be quite simple because we're going to be cutting out the page in the middle so I don't have a lot of space to work with. And what I'm going to do next is just draw a couple of mountain designs to make it really consistent with the theme. I'm just going to do that all around the sides of where the cutout is going to be. So 
that I can still have that little pop of color in this page. And initially, I wanted to use this page as a one line a day spread instead, but because it was going to be that cut out in the middle, it really wasn't going to work out. But something that I started doing also is to kind of start a digital journal as well. So I've been really into Notion recently. I don't know if any of you guys have Notion or use any digital journaling tools, but something that I really like about using Notion is that I can also pre-populate certain journal prompts and that actually makes the journaling process a lot easier for me. My biggest challenge with journaling was always trying to find something to write about, but I find that having a set list of journal prompt really helped to remove that obstacle. Depending on the mood I'm on, I can just choose between one of these preloaded prompts and kind of use that to start off my journaling thoughts. I'm also using this journaling template from another creator named Islo, but the best thing about Notion is that you could completely customize it to what you want and you can even add any new prompts as well. For example, the other day I saw this idea on Instagram where you want to write a letter from your future self that is already living your dream life and then you want to write from their perspective and think about what they would write to your current self and I really love this journal prompt because it really helps you to visualize what your dream life would look like and kind of imagining the pep talk that they would give to your current self and I always love trying out new journal prompts so let me know if you have any favorite ones in the comments down below or let me know if you're the type to not use any prompts and just free flow and write about how you felt or your thoughts throughout the day. Now the next page that I'm going to prepare for my January 2023 setup is going to be really simple and it's going to be a habit tracker. Now it's going to be super straightforward. I'm going to be using one of the habit tracker stencils that I got from Sunny Street and I'm going to go with this square one. And because I wanted to have a bigger space in the middle for my actual doodles and design, I'm actually not going to use the full stencil and I'm only going to use the outer trackers to be able to create a bigger square in the middle. I've also gotten a couple of questions on how to use this stencil. So basically, the way that the stencil is set up is that you have one really long line and this is where you can write out the habit that you want to track and then following that you get 31 smaller lines and these smaller lines really represents each day of the month. So within the smaller line, you can make an X or any other symbol that you want to show that you track that habit for that specific day. I used to hate making habit trackers before because I felt like they just took so much time to prepare but I found that these stencils really helped me save so much time in my journal and it always comes out looking really neat every single time. So let me know if you also like to track your habits in your bullet journal and what type of habits that you like to track for each month as well. Now we're definitely at the fun part which is when we get to finally decorate the center of the habit tracker and I'm just gonna go with the same technique that I've been using to really make the mountain design for the middle of this habit tracker and something else that you can also try for your bullet journal is instead of having a little drawing inside your habit tracker page you can also use the space for any motivating quote as well i know that sometimes it can be really hard to stay on top of all of your habits but i find that if you have a motivating quote then it can also help you stay on top of all of your goals and habits i think another creative idea would be to also use this middle space as a mood board or vision board and i find that anything that can help you stay inspired in your goals is definitely going to be a great way for you to use up the space. And because I didn't want the sky in the background to be a little bit empty, I'm going to switch it up a little bit for this design and instead of using the dark blue color to add the shading into the mountains, I'm going to use this dark blue color to be the background instead. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same blue color for the background as the sky and then I'm going to take a thin black pen to add some shading into the mountains instead. So as you can see, I'm just going to draw some lines diagonally throughout the mountains and this is going to be able to help you add some shading effect to your drawing and because i did this while my pen wasn't fully dry it also helped to add a little bit of smudging and i thought that it ended up giving a really cool effect as well so it was definitely unintentional but now that i saw it i wish i was a bit more intentional with the smudging effect because in the end i actually really liked how it looked 
And oh my god, I actually ran out of ink in one of my pens mid-drawing and don't you just hate it when that happens to you? I find that it always happens at the worst times, but personally, this is one of the reasons why I like to have a little backup stock of all of my favorite tools because I just hate when things like that happen midway, especially if you're using a specific color for a specific theme that you're using. It definitely happened to me once and I got so annoyed and now that's why I keep on keeping stock of everything. But let me know if you're also someone that likes to have a lot of backup tools for your your favorite items. Now it's time for the fun part and it's time to finally finish up our cover page. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go back to our first page and I'm gonna put a board to protect the other pages to make sure that I'm not accidentally cutting any of the pages beneath this one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my paper cutter and start to cut out this square in the middle of my bullet journal. And of course, if you're also recreating this type of theme and you're also using a blade cutter at home, make sure to be really careful. I had to go really slowly with this because it is a bit harder to cut out the bullet journal pages especially because the bullet journal pages tend to be on the thicker size you might have to go really slowly with the paper cutter I also wanted to go really slowly just to make sure that I was able to get the straight lines and make this perfect square so as you can see now that we have the square cut out you actually get to see the design that we made in the habit tracker page and even when we flip the pages you also see the quote that we prepared when you're flipping to the January events page and because I had this cutout I only had to decorate certain portions of my bullet journal and so it really saves me time by not having to make a unique design for every single page in my setup. So you can definitely just leave it like this for the cover page but I wanted to add a little bit more detail so that I can include some gold color to make it match my quote page. So what I decided to do was create a little frame outside of my cutout. I decided to kind of go into this sort of stamp like shape but you could definitely have fun with a lot of different frame ideas and then from there I'm just gonna paint the whole thing in gold to really make it match the whole color scheme of my quote page as well. Also I'm really happy that I ended up choosing this shiny gold color because I find that it really fits with the whole new year vibe and I don't know if you did anything special for new year but in my city it really didn't feel like new year's eve at all. They even cancelled our annual fireworks and it kind of just felt like there wasn't anything big going on around the city and earlier in the day I actually got the chance to hang out with some of my friends. We went for dim sum, had some really nice bubble tea but now I kind of just want to relax on my own and kind of just recharge. Maybe that's just the introverts in me speaking, I kind of just want to be home on my own and just spend the day playing Stardew Valley and relaxing but yeah let me know if you did anything fun for new year whether it was an event in your city or even just spending some nice time with your family and friends I'd really love to hear how you were able to spend your new year Now the next page that I'm going to prepare for my January 2023 bullet journal setup is going to be my monthly goals page. Now this is also a new layout that I'm really excited to try out and I think this is a little bit of my project manager side coming out of me but basically what I wanted to do is create a little timeline of the month and kind of use that to be able to visualize the goals that I'm setting for myself. And one of the things I struggle with the most when it comes to setting personal goals for myself is that I tend to put a little bit too much on my plate and so what I wanted to try for this month is not only just set a couple of goals for myself but kind of visualize that on a timeline so that I could kind of see how much bandwidth I have throughout the month and even though it can be really good to aim high with your goals I think we also need to be realistic and realize that one we're human and we're not gonna be a hundred percent productive every single day and two there's a lot of unexpected things that can happen throughout our lives I realized that looking back at my goals I always fall behind because of something unexpected happening and it kind of throws me off my balance or the schedule or routine that I had for myself and I really just never took into account any of these unexpected things happening and so I wanted to create this timeline just so I could see that one I'm not putting too many things that overlaps onto the similar days and also being able to visualize if I have enough time throughout the month and making sure that each goal has a little bit of buffer time in case anything happens. So basically, if you also want to try out this goals page for yourself, the way that I set it up is that at the top, I'm going to create a little timeline for each day of the month. 
And then below that, you can write out all of your goals for the month and how much time you think it's gonna take you to complete it within that month. So for example, if one of my first goal is to upload a video within the first two weeks of the month, then I can write that as one of my goal and make a little bar for the first two weeks of that month. And then I can do the same thing with video two for the last two weeks of that month. And as you can see, this page is gonna be able to give you a really quick snapshot of how your month looks like. And it's also gonna be able to let you see if your goals are quite realistic in the timelines of that month. Now for the weekly spread setup, I also decided to create this Dutch doors with mountain tabs on them. I was also inspired by the cloud tabs that I did in my future log for my 2023 bullet journal setup. If you haven't watched the video, I'll link it in the description down below so you could watch it as well. But basically what you want to do is just cut out a little piece of your bullet journal on the side. And then in every page, I'm also going to be cutting out a little shape of a mountain and I'm going to cut them at different heights of the bullet journal page so that it can create different tabs for the different pages in my bullet journal and I've made tabs in my bullet journal setups before but one thing that I didn't really love about it is that depending on the design of the tabs that you choose it can be kind of hard to add any additional pages once you actually made your setup so for example in these two examples I've made either four or five tabs with these rectangular shapes and as you can see because I kind of set it up this way it's kind of hard for me to add any additional tabs because it's not like I can just add more pages to the bottom of my bullet journal however something that is really cool about having these different shapes as your bullet journal tabs even if you add any additional tabs in the back it's not really going to mess up your initial design in this example i made four different dutch doors with the mountain tabs however even if i make a fifth or sixth tab i can just add more mountain designs and it's just gonna look like it's a bunch of mountains layered on top of each other and it's not really gonna mess up my original tab design at all and once we finish creating the dutch door with the mountain tabs we can just go on and add some shading into each of the different tabs itself now make sure to do this in the back side as well so that you can always get the same design no matter what page you're flipping on and for the actual weekly spread itself, I'm going to keep it quite simple. So what I'm going to do is just divide the two pages into seven equal columns. And then for each column, I'm also going to separate it into a little square at the top. And in this little square, I'm also going to decorate it with a different mountain design for each square. And to decorate the weekly spread, I also wanted to use the quote stamp that is part of the Cloud Dreamline collection from Notebook Therapy. And it was kind of frustrating because I tested this technique on a separate piece of paper and it turned out perfectly fine. But then obviously when I tried it on my bullet journal, it didn't turn out as well as it did the first time. But basically one of the things I really like about Notebook Therapy stamps is that you can even use your brush pens or different markers to add the color into the stamps. So you don't have to just use an ink pad and you can get so much color variety by being able to use different tools and I think one of the mistakes that I made is that I applied the ink in too many different directions so I might have wiped up some of the ink before I put it onto the page but as you can see it turned out perfectly fine initially when I tested it on a random piece of paper so I think I just have to practice a little bit more in using these stamps with markers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this icy mountain theme for my January 2023 bullet journal setup. Leave me a blue heart emoji in the comments down below if you made it to the very end so I know who my bullet journal besties are. And if you guys enjoyed the Dutch rows we did with the mountain designs, make sure to check out my 2023 bullet journal setup where we also did something similar with some pastel clouds design. I hope to see you in the next video!